Okay, we've deliberately uh, set up a scenario that will make your Mobot fail. Um, if you see this happening, uh, we'll give you a solution in a minute. So, I press stop, red light, I can see the middle flashing, it's great. In other words, the, the boundary light indicator is flashing. It's got a signal. So at the moment, hey, it's telling me it has power and it's got a signal. So I think, great, I press A and I press C. Remember, I'm looking at the far right hand side. There's no indicator says so an issue. It's basically the, uh, the has light fl flashing saying so it's waiting for a command. And I press C to confirm and let's see what happens next. So the mobot takes off. Oh, and it stops. It's beeping, it stops. What's going on? Hey, my mobot's broken. I don't understand what's happening. Well, if I go reset it again, it's gonna do the same thing. So what is the problem? So I got the mobot and I think, well, you know, there's something wrong with my product. I reset as uh, most people would. And I turn it back on, I go, well, let's just uh, try it again. We can see here, we've got a power light. We see we've got the middle light, it's, it's flashing. Um, it's going to get a connectivity in a minute with the boundary line. So I'm thinking there's nothing wrong with that. And in a minute, the, the hazard light will flash when I press A, so we're here. Okay, it's waiting for a command. So I go, okay, well, let's press confirm and let's see what happens. So it takes off again. You think, great, it's about to mow. Let's watch what happens. It's not going all the way there, that's a bit weird. It's just turning around. Just the mower doesn't perform very well, what's going on? Again, it didn't go to the edge. Well, that's not right, what's going on? So this is one of the warning signs that you've actually set up your Mobot incorrectly. And the other one can be, can sometimes do really fast circles. So what's happening at the moment, it's having real trouble trying to identify its boundary. It's confused. And this can cause numerous different uh, signal issues. And there we go. Beeping again, it's not working. Now, most people think, hey, there's something wrong with my product. Well, not correct. Let's go through and show you the solution. So as we said before, this is a really common mistake, hence why we thought we'd produce a video to explain what might be happening with your mobile and how to solve the problem. First of all, I'm going to disconnect my power. And I look behind here, and what we have is our wires are connected the wrong way around. The wire that's moving away from the base station here, well, this should be actually plugged into the red. And the other wire that comes out the front needs to be plugged Connect into the negative. Connect the wire into the black connector. Go underneath the base station and make sure the wire comes out near the arrow and goes straight for at least two and a half metres. The other wire connects into the red connector and moves away from the base station at the rear. Connect your power and make sure you screw the tightening clamp hand tight.